Welcome back to Tabletop. It's me, Trent, here to give you the latest and greatest unboxing video ever. And today's unboxings will actually be revolving around secret layers. Because our one just recently hit the uh, house here just yesterday. And I'm not going to lie, very excited to dig into this. But before we go in, I'd like to say thanks to Billy, Adam, John, James, Dylan, and Tom as well. For, you know, we all kind of talked about it, like always giving me a good buzz. Always very fun to play with all of them and they're all just really nice lads in the neighborhood and I'm really lucky to meet them. But uh, the thing is, we actually went all in for like some of the other layers here. And the one that I'm going to talk about right now for like a, just a little bit is the, uh, here we are. Uh, you guys can't see that. Uh, here we are. Can you see that? Is the Extra Life 2021 uh, layer. So what's so good about Secret Life, See, or Extra Life, Secret Lair? Extra Life Secret Lair is pretty good because this is just kind of Wizard's way of like doing direct-to-consumer marketing. However, this Extra Life line was for charity and half the money goes to charity and the other half goes to actually fulfilling the orders like production and everything, right? So altogether, I think we spent like 400 or 500 euros on the charity that <laughs> was selected. It was, uh, I believe this one was for suicide hotlines. Yeah, last year I remember it was for Black Lives Matters, and it's just been really, really cool. Although it could be enemies charities all wrong, I just remember it being such a good cause. And I'm not gonna lie, it was really cool. We managed to contribute quite a bit, and while doing the things that we love. So, everyone back at home, patting yourself on the back here. On top of that, I've gotten a few extra things in here for all you guys to enjoy today. We've gotten, you know, just bunch of secret layers here my big friend tom the big friendly giant we went in for all the layers this time around and we didn't even know what was inside these at the time the bonus cards more so as you guys all know there is a chance you get a bonus blueprint card or a blueprint card you always get a bonus card with all the stuff some of them are set but other times they can go into some really rare stuff I have opened over 20 secret layers and I have not gotten one blueprint, but let's let's fix that right now. Let's do it. We're going to start with a monster movie marathon. All right. Loving the packaging they're doing. Thank you for being a part of secret layer. Yes. Thank you for bleeding me dry. Now, if you can get your act together and fix alchemy inside the... Uh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. <gasps> Fix alchemy on arena. That'd be fantastic. But wish I mean remove alchemy, please. I'll spend more money on your game. Jesus Christ, these cards are even better looking in person. These, this one in particular, is the one where they're based off movie posters. <laughs> Holy shit, that's cool. I mean, I saw the, I saw the images online, but I've never actually seen it in person until now. So let me, I think this thing's a little bit too loud, isn't it? Where I think we're peaking a little bit. I'm just going to lower down the decibels just by a little notch. That should be a little bit better for all you guys back home. Oh, wow. Oh, that is beautiful. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Okay. Ooh, a blasphemous act. Look at that. Holy shit. How are these magic cards? How are these legal? Why have they not done this before? Beast Within, one of my most used and favorite cards. Over there, oh wow. Two innocent Beast Within movie posters. Where did, I want more of these. And here is Graph Digger's Cage, oh Jesus. A little bit of a whitening on the back here, or in the bottom. Not too happy about this one, though. I'm very peculiar when it comes to my secret layers, especially when you spend 30 euros for four cards. <sighs> all right, all right. Let's leave these later. Gotta get the inner sleeves. Go all to one side here. Oh, baby. And don't forget, flip this around, and we get to see our bonus card. So what are we gonna get? Please don't be a swamp. Ah, oh, it's even worse. It's the planes. Foil planes. No! Oh, as you guys all know, the bonus cards are usually just going to be like a plains or something or some sort of land. I'm not entirely thrilled about that. I think this one is from the army or something. They're usually from like the, uh, well, they've been ripping off Jumpstart for a while now. Let's just put it that way. Okay, 
Next one we are going to do is called ba -ba -ba -ba, Midnight Hunt. Showcase. Here we are. Thank you for being a friend. Let's go. Ooh, baby. This is a tick piece of ass right here. Look at how many cards are in here. Y'all can't see it, but like, Jesus Christ, that's a lot of cardboard. There we go. Moreland Haunt. Ooh, baby. Vault of Archangel. Creatures get that touch and life. Look at that. You stupid camera. Could you please? Yes. Chill like this. If we get down yard. Mill tree cards. Okay. We have a desolate lighthouse. Cecia, Luddle. Oh, wow. Got a nice little grim backwoods here. Jesus Christ. Chris of Woods, really good for like getting a little bit extra damage over. Slayer Stronghold. One of my favorite lands here. Tom's as well. I remember, of course. Gavany Township. All right. Pretty good on, you know, giant decks like to go high with all their tokens. And here's an Alchemist Reef Refuge as well. Cast spells this turn as though they had flash. That's fucking nuts. Can't remember how much these things were going for. Uh, what the fuck? What's up with the center? Am I crazy? Or are these like slightly too top heavy? And left heavy. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, they are. Jesus Christ. They're, the, they're way too the top heavy, aren't they? This is what a normal magic card should look like. Am I going crazy? I think I just have an eye for these things because I'm... Usually, really about that uh, betrayal. Nice, nice lands. I'm gonna double check that later. If you guys know in the comments or think it looks a bit off, let me know. Oh, baby! An Eldrazi monument of blueprint. Oh, yeah! I was actually so <laughs> looking forward to one of these things. Oh! There we go, there we go. There you are. The boys are gonna be uh, very, very sad about this later. They're gonna be all like, hey Trent, where'd you get the Aldrazi monument? Oh, you know. Got it from a guy at work. You know what, this is actually annoying me so much. I'm gonna switch back over to like manual view. Fuck that shit. Read the fine print. All right. We got to read the fine print, guys. Oh, boy. Why is there goo all over this? You know what? Back to autofocus you go. How do we run? There. Ooh. Okay. Remember, always read the fine print, guys. Dylan, if you're watching this, you know what I'm talking about, yo? He my lawyer. In court, he'll come in and be like, I've never seen that man before in my life. 
Is this not a video of you playing Magic with them on uh, December of 2021? Your Honor, that could be anyone. All right. Demon Bezalok. Oh, wow. Not too bad. Some of these demons, like, honestly, not too pricey when, like, the regular printing, but the Secret Lairs one is just so beautiful. Like, do I agree with the business model? A little bit. I really like the fact that they can reprint staples and stuff like that. And so it's such a condensed thing, and then it still has like, are, are you shitting me? Really? This is definitely smaller than this one. I gotta get a fucking... I go insane? I'm going crazy? I don't know. God damn it, two seconds while I fix this damn camera. Okay, I hope this is a lot better for everyone back at home. We have Demon Lord, Bezlock, Gristlebrand, of course. Liliana's Contract, okay. Draw four cards, pretty damn good card. Corporate Soul Hoarder. And the Razatek Defile Blood. Ooh, love one of you. Guys, really? I'm not crazy, right? That is definitely smaller than that. And I feel like this is actually a bit bigger than this. Am I going insane? Or are all these like... They're not horribly wrong, but like they don't feel right. They don't, they don't look right. I gotta get my guy on it. But anyway, moving back to this. We're gonna take a look at our bonus card. What's it gonna be? Ooh, baby. Stained glass. <laughs> Liliana, Dreadhorde General. Fucking hell, these things are like going for mad money. They're like 80 euros because they were so difficult to get. But now that people are buying these ones, I'm guessing the price is gonna tank. But still, Jesus Christ, why would you not want one of these? This is like, I consider it one of the best Planeswalkers ever printed. Definitely, you know, my black decks, whenever I can, I'll always uh, put her out. Why? Her ultimate just literally shreds through everyone. Like, it's actually insane the amount of value you get. All right, moving on. It's close to midnight. The trilling tales of the underdead. It's close to moonlight. You try to scream. And tear and look. I actually don't know the lyrics to that song very well. You're very lies. Cause this is Triller. Triller night. And no one's gonna save you when the grave caller comes out. Cause this is Triller. Triller night. Here we go. All right, beautiful cards here. Nice little grave trawler. <laughs> She'll get revenge. Oh Jesus! Just like the normal worker, this. I think the reprint is like the master inside the uh, mystery boosters. There was a grave crawler, and he was hovering around twenty quid. This thing alone was only like thirty euros altogether, and you got two extra cards with it. It's pretty fucking sick. And this is, I love this artwork a lot more. I'm really glad I didn't pull the trigger on that grave trawler <laughs> crawler a while ago. Very good card. Extremely powerful. Like, look. You can cast it from your graveyard as long as you control a zombie, as long as you have a way to sack it, and then like make a, make a make a mana out of it. You should be able to do it. I mean, what was the one that wasn't Ashnoid's altar? The one that actually does mana. And then since there's a zombie, you can keep recalling it, and you have something to ping them down like a blood artist. It kind of finishes them off. Ooh, Liana's death majesty. I'm not sure how I feel about the uh, about the playing walker now. Does look pretty damn neat, but I feel like they could have done a little bit something a little bit more different. Something a little different with Liliana's Death Majesty. I don't know. I, I like it, but it's not so wowing me. It's not wowing me. This one though. <laughs> Rise of the Dark Realm. Lock your doors, they're coming home. How many times are you gonna reprint this, Wizards? It's in Commander Collection Black. It's in like the Commander sets. How many times must we do this? before you're satisfied. 
You know what? I'm going paranoid. Not even gonna think about it. Our bonus card. Of course, is a fucking forest. Oh no, oh no, no. Sure, it is what it is. Next one we're gonna open. I'll leave this one for like second last. Let's do the monster anatomy one. I think it's the one that people don't really like look at. Like I only got these because it was part of the bundle and I was saving money anyway. So you know what as well, you might as well. There's some good cards in here though. All of them I already own, I believe, but sure. Can't have too much of a good thing. There you go. I actually did not own a fleet smolder. So that is a thing. There you are. All right, team tabletop. Ooh. I know y'all are really into this. All right, these actually look like they're properly cut. So we got a fleet swallower, swallower, goblin trash master. Adam's gonna want one of these for his uh, commander decks now. We have Erog, the raise four. I believe it was a mythic inside War of the Spark. I remember because this man gave me a hell of a lot of trouble back in the day. And I gave people even more trouble. And here it is, Protein Hulk, probably the best of the bunch here. Like, it's so fucking good. Search your library for any number of creatures with total mana value six or less. Pretty damn good. Not gonna lie, you find yourself a couple of dorks, some zero cost mana stuff. Works out all the time. And... Gishalt. Sun Avatar. Oh, this is, this is, this is it, boys. This is it. Hello, my little dinosaur. I was hoping to get a copy of Yi, and I was very fortunate that they were doing one of this. Like, I forgot that it was actually in here. Jesus. So Protein Hulk is second most, and Gishalt's on Avatar. 100%. The MVP here. Oh, wow. All these, all the layers so far have been fucking bangers now. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Let's see what the bonus card is. It's, it's a basic. Just a basic. Spend 40 euros and they give you an extra basic. Sure it is what it is. We got the Miranda Insanity. I believe this is all the archetype lands that have really, really weird artwork. All right, y'all ready for this? Okay, Ancient Den. Artifact lands. Why are these cool? They work in a lot of decks here. The one I can think of that I would use them for is your man from the, I believe it was the Strixhaven's one, the dwarf that can just like destroy artifacts and make copies of them. So that's pretty sick for that. Ancient Den, there you go. Got a C of the Cyanoids. Look at this. Look at this beautiful pixelated piece of crap. <gasps> oh my God. So pretty. Volta Whispers. Look, what? I feel like I'm walking into some sort of... There's a big fucking head in here. Did I even notice in the last ones? Yeah, this one's got like some dog. What is? This is me in the morning. Who that? That's Billy. And, well, no, this this is Mindy when she's mad at Billy. And Billy can be the blue guy. <laughs> oh, 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 that's a green. That's, that's an Adam right there. Look at that. Growing all the weed. Ah, yes. And here is uh, Silver Fox James right in there. Right in there. Well, the land's here now. What is our bonus land going to be? It's going to be the colorless one? Is it? Or? Oh, my God. It's a dark steel citadel. Holy shit, that's beautiful.
Oh wow, I can't wait. I can't wait to get these at the table. Definitely feels like something's up. They're so pretty. They're so beautiful, like me. I am also very pretty. Here we are. Secret lair. Stranger things. You're really right. Secret lair stranger things definitely is. Oh, and it's red. I'll keep it in this box. Well, it's only red on the outside. Everything else is kind of similar on the inside. Just to give it an extra pizzazz. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Okay, you guys ready for this? Mind Flyer. Remember, these cards are actually going to get reprinted inside a future set under different names. But never again in this artwork. That's the whole point of Secret Layers. Mind Flyer. The Shadow. Why is this upside down? Oh, because he's literally upside down. Because he's in the upside down, yo. I only partially watched that series. Okay, we got the Chief Jim. Dustin Genius. Here she is. The beautiful 11 mage. I've got like two decks revolving around her currently that you'll probably be seeing on Irish Commander Nights once we start doing those again. It's it's fucking sick. She's a she's a really good commander, but she's kinda difficult to well, when you make her, it's like really cool. Just a lot of extra variables because getting 11 cards is quite difficult to do. So here's Lucas, the sharpshooter. Here is Max, the daredevil. I don't actually know who she is because I didn't watch season two of Stranger Things. I just don't know where your man is. Like, your man who was the brother, the guy with the good hair, who was also in that movie with the, you know, Ryan Reynolds. Here is Mike, the Dungeon Master. Allows you to reanimate stuff. Pretty damn good. Assuming they died that turn. Wait, choose target creature card in a graveyard. Huh? So it revives anyone's creatures. And here is Will, the wise. He's not very wise, though. He got lost inside the other dimension. And one clue token. Pretty damn cool. Our bonus card. Double-sided. Hawkins National Laboratory. Laboratory. Boop, boop, boop. Tree Clogans transform it into the National Laboratory. When this land transforms into the Upside Down, return target creature from your graveyard to the battlefield. When the creature put into the battlefield, with Upside Down leaves the battlefield, transform the Upside Down. Pay one life. And get a mana. Well, black mana, anyway. So four to investigate, then you can grab an extra clue token. That's pretty damn good. We need her if it was like, you know, unlimited for sure. It is what it is. And here it is, the last one, the extra life one that I saved just for it last for all you guys back at home. This is the one where they had kids drawing onto them and then they had like professional artist interpretations of them. I think it's by far one of the coolest things they've ever done. I'll show you guys what I mean. So, pretty fucking cool Muldrifter, right? Everyone uses them. Staple in many Blink decks. Got the Evoke cost over there. And here it is, <laughs> the kid's rendition of the actual card. Isn't that just adorable? I, I think it's like so cool. Why would you not want to use a small drifter? That's the real question. The other one, this is trash. This is art. Here's a creator who behemoth just, you know, walking around like nobody's business. <laughs> Pretty damn cool. But. The real piece of art is over here. 
Oh, man. That is some grade A uh, cool stuff right there. Here's a Metal Work Colossus. And... Ta-da! I'm going to put this on the fridge. So fucking cute. Love Melday and Secret Card is going to be a questing Gitagraph. Oh my god, I haven't seen one of ye in forever. But I know. I know they didn't just give us one. What's it what's the damage? What's it look like in the back? That's what I want to know. Questing and <laughs> and this one was made by Mark Rosewater. Oh, wow. Let's just say it's a good thing he stayed in the development team. <laughs> oh, wow. So many cool cards. So many layers. Just to give you one quick ch check before I put them into their, you know, sleeves and everything. Once again, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you guys have been with us since the start, you know what I'm all about. Loving all these cards, loving playing against my friends, like I said. So many things to do, and just one of the best buds ever. Can't wait to get these onto the table and play one of the best games ever run by the worst company I've ever seen. <laughs> they do not have your self-interest at heart. Like, they lost all respect for me the moment that they did the alchemy thing, and they didn't give, like, a work around. I want a true to paper magic experience online that I can play a commander with or test out a commander decks with new cards. I don't want to fucking see all this persist shit where, you know, it's perpetual and then you can draft fucking cards mid game. I don't know how to tell you this, but I didn't sign up for that. I signed up for a real magic adventure and I know there's a little bit of salt here at the very end of this video. But yes, if you enjoy it, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. And guys, thanks so much for watching. If you guys want to Help out the channel or things like that, go to my website, tabletop.e for your tabletop needs. And until next time, look after yourselves.